I've been well educated by Australia and I'm uh, a bit of an expert in this area and I was very concerned that maybe the decision makers and the public weren't aware of a lot of the aspects of the evolving science on this issue. The decision makers and the public seem to be stuck in the science of about 1995 but a fair bit's changed since then and I'm afraid that we might be making bad decisions so uh, I sort of left it to the last moment but I felt I had to speak up. So in your opinion, now that you have spoken up, is there any such thing as global warming? Yeah, um, the world has heated up a little bit in the last two or three decades. Um, climate change is sort of like weather on a big scale. The world's always heating up or is cooling down a little bit over the centuries. It always happens. It just comes and goes. The, the, the issue is more whether we as humans have caused this recent global warming. In particular, do we cause it with our carbon emissions? And if so, is it going to lead to catastrophic climate change in the next century or two? The answer from that from the science is now abundantly clear. We didn't significantly cause it. We may have had a, sm a small role, but not, uh, it's pretty minor. And no, it's not going to lead to catastrophic climate change. You know that I, I can quote statistics, you can, you can pull on graphs and the others will, who counter the view will dispute it with other graphs. But we, we deal with statistics and as scientists, that's what you do. Um, there are graphs you should look at and graphs that tell you the story. And one graph that repeatedly comes up tells us that the climate hasn't warmed since, what, 1998? Uh, almost. 1998 was an exceptionally hot year because it was an El Nino year. The warming trend continued through to 2001, but since 2001, no, it's been flat. The, temp the global temperature has been flat and slightly down. And, in fact, in the last six months, it's dropped about 0 0.6 degrees, which is... Well, it takes us back to about 1980 levels. So, so why? Why has why that changed? Well, because it wasn't carbon emissions that were causing the problem, was it? Carbon emissions have kept on going along, and we, the carbon, level, carbon dioxide level in the atmosphere has kept rising, but global warming stopped. It's because it's due to something else. You wrote last week in, in your article, and I'd like to come back to that point, but you wrote in your article that when you started the job in 1999 in, in the greenhouse office... Yes. The evidence of carbon emissions caused global warming seemed pretty good. Yeah, it did. But you also wrote that the evidence was not conclusive and added, why wait until we were certain that it happened so we need to act quickly? Yeah, if you saw Al Gore's movie, the, one, the only piece of evidence he presented for the causes of global cha climate change, not, not that the glo global, sorry, not the global warming was happening. There's lots of evidence that global warming is happening. But for the causes of global warming, the only bit of evidence he produced was the old ice core data. And the old ice core data was collected starting in about 1985 through to about 1998. And it showed that in the past half million years, we've had six warming events. And in each case, the carbon dioxide level in the atmosphere and the temperature, global temperature moved in absolute lockstep. So we assumed that the carbon dioxide was causing the temperature rise because we know theoretically that carbon dioxide has a warming effect on the planet. And we had a very good correlation, but we didn't prove causation. Now, correlation is usually but not always causation. And in this case, it turns out we got it wrong because when we did further ice core studies with, more, with higher resolution so we could see uh, the, the, the data points are only a couple of hundred years apart instead of a couple of thousand years apart, we could see that in those past warming events, in each case, the temperature went up about 800 years on average before the carbon dioxide levels went up. That is to say, the warming trend in the oceans caused the, the carbon dioxide levels to go up not the other way around as we'd previously assumed. So we thought carbon dioxide caused temperature, but in fact it was temperature causing carbon dioxide. So and that was the only evidence that they ever had that, that carbon dioxide was a problem. Otherwise, the reasons for believing that uh, carbon is a problem are purely theoretical. Theoretical. Uh, so Al Gore's movie comes out, a lot of people see it, they look at it and they go, gee, that's bad, and his way of presentation is very convincing, he's, he's a politician and a good salesman. Has he conned us? Um, well, by 2003, everyone in the science world knew that the new ice core data showed that temperature came before carbon dioxide and therefore carbon dioxide was not, that Al Gore's evidence was not correct. But Al Gore made his movie in 2005. So when Al Gore made his movie, he knew what he was presenting was incorrect. Here's what he says about it, and I'll quote, it's complicated, but, unquote. Now, I don't want to dabble in politics, but you can judge for yourself. Hmm.
Yeah. It's very curious. It's very curious. So the scientific community we keep hearing is divided. You never know how divided, but you know that there certainly are scientists like yourself that will dispute some of the other stuff that is floated out there that seems to be very convincing and backs the, the Al Gore principle. So we're at a point now where government is about to introduce this massive policy change. I mean, TV screens, we've got ads running, think climate, think change. Penny Wong says the 12 hottest years in history have all been in the last 13 years. Is she right? No. No, we're near it. Um, the question for Penny Wong should be, what evidence do you have that carbon emissions cause climate change? The weak spot of the whole climate change case is that they haven't got any evidence. Since 1990, Western governments have spent about $50 billion in research and associated sort of stuff looking for the causes of climate change, looking for any evidence. The only thing we ever found was the old ice core data, but that's been reversed by the new ice cores. What we found instead was evidence that carbon emissions definitely do not cause the current global warming. You see, each cause of warming, global warming, leaves a certain signature in the atmosphere. It heats up some parts of the atmosphere more than others. The signature, the very distinct signature for carbon emission or increased greenhouse gases warming is a hot spot over the equator, over the tropics, around about 8 to 10, 8 to 12 kilometres above the tropics. Mm. That area should be warming fast if carbon emissions are causing the problem. Now, we've set up, sent up hundreds of radio sons, which are weather balloons with thermometers attached, and they've measured that, that area. And they come back and say the temperature up there is not increasing. So we, we know for sure the hot spot isn't there, so we know for sure that carbon emissions aren't causing the problem. And that's a result that came in in around about 2006, middle of 2006. So the, the science is evolving, and the evidence now says that carbon emissions don't cause the problem. The problem is that the political world is still stuck back in the evidence of 1995, but science has moved on and moved in a different direction. And the, the decision-makers haven't acknowledged that yet or don't understand it or are simply unaware of it. So 